Wow. Wow. Definitely some proper off-roading here. It's an adventure, hey? Woo! Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. some coffee and some breakfast. It's a wonderful day today. And I will have some apple with some oats. And these things, they're supposed to be very healthy. <laughs> cool spot this river was right behind our camp last night and you could just hear the water lulling you to sleep very peaceful little place good morning world welcome back to the channel it's day number 221 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle we're here in this beautiful little municipal camp in the town of Praia Grande in Brazil <laughs> They just started wood chipping over there. There's some guys dragging all of the branches and sticks over and there's this big machine in there. They want to make sure that everyone is awake now. <laughs> we packed up our tent this morning because we have some really cool roads to ride today. So let me show you guys where we're headed. Okay, so we are here in the beautiful town of Praia Grande. And today we are going to be making our way into the Parque Nacional Aparados da Serra, exploring a little bit in there before returning on the RS453 down to the coast and down to reach the town of Tramandai. Yes, we're heading back into the mountains to explore some more amazing roads. After yesterday's dirt road exploration, it's going to be really cool to get back out there and see some more mountain trails. So Google Maps says it will take us about three and a half hours. So for us, probably more like six hours. <laughs> Better hit the road, let's go. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Am I missing something? Can't think of anything. Ciao! <laughs> ah, there she is! Rock and roll! Look at all these cool camping setups. Look at that truck there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really cool people here. Very friendly. We had a chat with nearly all of them. Walter just uh, okay. offered us some cheese. Agora? Yeah, Agora! <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what you do when you go to a public camping. You just walk around in the evening and have a chat with everyone. <laughs> this town, Praia Grande, is also really, really cute. Here you've got this really nice square, Christmas decorations, massive church in the background. Look at that. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, it's a really nice, pleasant yeah. little town. Very nice place. So the mountain pass that we're heading to today is called Serra Faixal. It's basically going to climb us all the way up into the mountains. Oh, the dirt road starts here. <laughs> We've just left town. I think we'll let our tires down a little bit. So we normally have 38 in the front and 42 in the back. For a terrain like this, we're gonna take it down to 34 in the front and 38 in the back. And that should help us not to bounce around so much on all the stones. Oh my God, 
sorry, hard start. Okay, cool. So the pass that we're going up now is called Serra Faisal, and it's part of the uh, national park uh, Serra Aparecida. And straight after the pass is an awesome canyon called Canyon Itambezinho. So the next like 20 miles or so is going to be jam-packed. Oh look, there's some tarmac. <laughs> <laughs> Flying along on the tarmac. It's actually a good training if you have like uh, sections quite crazy off-road and then sections of tarmac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, each time you're on the tarmac you're like, oh it might be nice to go on a dirt road and then after a little bit of dirt road you're like, oh, <laughs> bring me back to the tarmac. <laughs> yes, but you can clearly see that the corners are always um, dirt road yeah and the corners are like the hardest bit exactly so <laughs> what's going on I it's like know. anyway it's good practice then i guess yeah and to try and stay on our side of the road yes yes we saw already like a, a little bit of a bigger truck actually going down this road yeah so we're gonna have to watch out that we <laughs> that we are staying on the right hand side Bumpy roads, <laughs> take me home. <laughs> Bumpy corner. Stand up a little bit, shall we? <laughs> up we go. <laughs> Got some views already, look at that. Nice. Whoa, we already climbed a lot. <laughs> oh, beautiful. I can see the ocean in the background. Wow, epic. Big truck ahead, man. Yeah, look at this truck. Crazy. Whoa. Whew, yeah, I... Okay. Got some big old turns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too bad. <laughs> Just about. There's a blooming Volkswagen bus coming up here. Look at this. <laughs> oh, that's madness. That is madness. Whoa. <laughs> oh, those things are built are built different, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Look how crazy the rocks are. Wow. Whoa, got some views coming up over there, hey? Yep. Whoa. <laughs> There's a thing about dirt roads, you can't really look around. You have to concentrate on the road. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Ah. Bit of a viewpoint here, let's have a quick look. Okay. Yeah, stopping is really hard. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. We've already climbed quite a bit. Whoa, look at that. Wow, some nice views. Some nice views, hey? This is the top over there. This is where we got to get to. So we've got a little bit more climbing to go. Okay, standing up then. Let's see. Whoa. Ho oh, oh. ho. Yeah. Wow, definitely some proper off-roading here. Yeah. It's an adventure, hey? Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this road is 
definitely an adventure. It's crazy stuff. <sighs> My God. I feel like we actually are climbing the mountain. Yeah. Physically. <laughs> supposed to be easier on a motorbike, but it's not. Okay. Very good, very good, yeah. Yeah. And straighten her up. <laughs> it's very hard to do a narrow corner <laughs> with this kind of road conditions. <sighs> Whoa! Look at that! Good old bash plate, I heard it doing its magic. Yeah. Oh my lord, that's hot. <sighs> oh, look at that. I think we are at the top. Good work. Oh yeah, yeah. And we didn't fall. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> nice. Wow. What a challenge for the morning, hey? Yes. <laughs> Good way to wake up. <laughs> yeah, but we're at the top now and we've got a few more miles of this road and then we'll be heading to see the canyon, Itambazinho. Aha. We have reached the entrance of the Parque Nacional de Aparados da Serra. Uh, no, no fellow Portuguese. <laughs> Fala anglais? <laughs> no. Um, um, uh, os tickets para acessar o parque é 50 reais por pessoa e, de, e cinco estacionamento. Ok. 105. 105. Yeah. Ok. Ok, obrigada, obrigada. <laughs> you can translate. Have you seen any pumas recently? Possível algum puma recentemente? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Mas é mais à noite. Ah, à noite. À noite, à noite. À noite. Ah, à noite. Ah, ah, ok. É okay. noite que está calmo. Oh. Tá uh -huh. ah. Faz pouco tempo porque apareceu um aqui. <laughs> Cidade de origem. Cidade, Reino Unido Moto. Origin, London. Legal, mas é grande a moto, né? É grande, muito grande. Muito. Será que faz o caminho? Oh, muito difícil. É. É. A dois quilômetros de estacionamento, tá? Dois quilômetros de estacionamento. Tá ok, tá perfeito. Bom dia, vou fazer. Ok. Tá? Obrigada. 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 Tchau, tchau. We're in. This park is really special because it was the first national park here in Brazil and it was created 1959. Whoa, amazing. And since then, this area here is protected 
and home of about 140 different types of birds and about 40 different types of mammals including pumas whoa <laughs> i would love to see a puma man that would be amazing absolutely amazing um, oh look at this bridge it's nice i always get a bit nervous on these bridges though <laughs> me too <laughs> but really what we're here to see in this national park is the itambezinho canyon which the lady at the front told us was just a couple of kilometers up here to the parking and then we can go check it out perfecto perfecto <laughs> okay ready okay. yep Whew. just gonna face the right way okay to the yes to the way <laughs> all right bumblebee is all packed up <laughs> safe and sound she can just have a little rest over there because it's time for us to go for a walk <laughs> yeah the guy here said the walk is three k's to the canyon and then three k's back so a good amount to explore a little bit the area and maybe we are lucky and see some nice animals see some nice canyons that's for sure <laughs> Potential animals, selvagens. I don't know what selvagens means, but it probably means savage. <laughs> I think we're coming up to the canyon now. So I can just see cliffs behind. Here we go, look at this. Wow. Well, look how many eagles there are around, or vultures. Wow. It's not a bad view, hey? Wow, that is a big drop in front of us now. And there's a little waterfall over there. How pretty, hey? And the canyon's not so bad either. Oh dear. Yeah. Yeah. It says, congratulations, you made three kilometers on the trail. Woo! We made it. Whee! To be fair, I think it took us 40 minutes. Not too bad. Not too bad. But on the motorbike, it would have taken about two minutes. So I think it's time for us to have a nice lunch break with a view. Show me what monstrosity you've made here. <laughs> what is that? I have a mix of all our leftovers. <laughs> and I think it ended up quite cool. So I have this um, cassava crisps. So the same crisps mm -hmm. that I bought at that petrol station. Mm -hmm. This is literally the most tasteless crisp I've ever had. It's like like eating that stuff that you pack in boxes little packaging pieces quite a while ago then some peanuts and my leftover salad <laughs> so it's just like a random salad wrap okay mm -hmm. whoa okay now there's salad on top it's a sandwich okay i've got a bag of peanuts We've got some sweet peanuts and then we've got that massive bag of cookies. It was maybe a mistake, but I couldn't resist. Oh my God. 700 grams of cookies. 
so that'll do. Bumblebee's still alive. Obrigado. It's getting hot in here. Oh my lord. Getting our gear on was tough. Yeah, while well, the bike is recording 29 degrees at the moment, mm. I got a little bit sunburned on my back as well. We just had the sun down on us the whole time. It was, it was crazy, but well worth the visit. Absolutely well worth the visit. That was an amazing place. Mm. Bye, obrigada. Yeah, while well, the nature around here is so incredibly nice. Yeah, that's a really, really amazing bit of nature right there. That whole canyon area and the national park around mm -hmm. they are absolutely brilliant and it only cost us about 15 pounds for the entry and the parking for bumblebee so that amazing place for 15 pounds that is well worth it and it's always nice to contribute some money to awesome places like that for the pumas yeah to the pumas <laughs> <laughs> So the pumas can live in peace. So now we're heading to a town called Cambara du Sul and that should bring us up to a tarmac road again and then we'll be making our way back down from the highlands to the lowlands and over to the coast. We found a really cool place on booking.com for 10 pounds the night and it looked a little bit like a sort of caravan park. <laughs> there is a pool in this place so <laughs> it's a pool so yeah we're heading over there now um, we booked three nights because we want to prepare ourselves for Uruguay a little bit uh, two days more in Brazil and then we're heading over to Uruguay and also we have to really catch up with some editing yep the editing work never ends hey <laughs> no so guys if you like the video please subscribe now <laughs> <laughs> because we do have to put in a lot of hours to edit this and make it into something manageable basically make our chaos of filming every day into okay. something that makes sense yes. <laughs> and if you already are subscribed well then why don't you just tell your friends to subscribe <laughs> yes and anyway thanks so much for everyone who was watching the whole time and commenting and uh, sending us messages and as well donations buying t-shirts all of these things we are really really grateful yeah that makes the 10 hour 12 hour editing days worthwhile <laughs> yes Definitely. thanks so much guys Last bump of the day. <laughs> Tarmac. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, smooth. Wee! And it's pretty good too because our miles per gallon on the dirt road was not good. It's like 39 miles per gallon. And usually we get like 50 to 60. So yeah climbing up some crazy dirt roads uses a lot of fuel. <laughs> yes, that's true. Bom dia. Tudo bem? Tudo bem. Uh, quanto custa o pastel de queijo? Seis. Seis. Um, que no. Dos pastel de queijo. Mais alguma coisa? Ah, uh, não, não. Esse. A carta. Where are you from? Oh, uh, Inglaterra, uh, uh, Alemania. Oh, nice. See, si. obrigado. Here you go. Oh, looks like we are heading down, 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 back down to sea level. Big curves coming up now. Oh, wow. And some big views. Wow, look at that. Yeah. What a view. And because the road is quite 
flat and nice it means i can actually look at it a little bit because <laughs> on the way up this morning i don't think i got much of a chance to look well you have to enjoy the videos then hey oh uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. very cool so this will actually be the fifth time that we cross from the highlands to the lowlands on this same mountain range so i think we have done a pretty extensive exploration of the mountains of santa catarina it was pretty cool it was pretty cool so 28 miles on this road here until we hit the coast and then it's a further 30 miles along the coast should be still quite nice riding once we overtook all the traffic here <laughs> <laughs> there you go look at that i think the next turn is our turn is that a horse in the middle of the road <laughs> yes Excuse me, sir, what are you doing on the road? <laughs> and you, doggy. Okay, let's check this out. Hello. I like these chairs. Hello. So this is where our chalet is. Look at this place. Whoa. It's like a little forest village. Ah, swimming pool! It does exist! Haha! <laughs> wow! Cidade Flore Floresta! Floresta! So, Floresta! And the little chalet! Oh, you speak Deutsch! You speak Deutsch! You speak Deutsch! Can you speak Oh, no way! <laughs> Another German speaker! Yes! yes. <laughs> Beautiful! Look at that! It's a whole apartment for us! Perfect. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy the life. <laughs> so nice. I mean, the room is very basic, but it's very private as well because we have our own little bathroom, our own little kitchen, which is perfect. And this all for 10 pounds. I mean, come on. That's like so cool. And a little uh, swimming pool as well. Yeah, you can't complain for 10 pounds, that's for sure. <laughs> that was the last of our mountain trails of Santa Catarina. I have to show you this. So we got this map when we were in Sao Hakim uh, from the guy who actually showed us where the free camp was in Sao Hakim. Anywhere here? No oh, way. What a place. What? He gave us this and on here is all of the different roads that go from the lowlands to the highlands and it's really cool because we rode this one on the way in we rode the Serra de Corvo Branco was closed but we tried to ride it the Serra do Rio de Rastro here the Serra do Rochina yesterday today the Serra do Faixal and we left on this road so we have literally been up and down here like six times. <laughs> loco, loco. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I would say we've really, really explored the Serra Catarinesi, the Santa Catarina mountain. And I can say you are beautiful mountains of Santa Catarina. <laughs> Been a really, really, really nice last week. That's for sure. But anyway, that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. Pretty burnt, oh my lord. We just put sunscreen on our faces. Perhaps we should have put them everywhere. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, because we found a really cool place on booking.com. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a little bit bumpy. Okay, that was a bumpy bear. 